<laughs> so while we're passing these out, So while I'm passing these out, think about what makes a soil healthy. Nutrients? Okay, and how do nutrients get into the soil? I mean, it can happen a couple different ways, but how do nutrients get into the soil? The sun? Part of it, yeah. Products. So yeah, you could put you could put a fertilizer in it and add nutrients, or like we talked about earlier, you could have uh, nitrogen fixing and, and, and those kind of plants that rotate. But um, look at the soils that you have. Um, which one of these two do you think is healthier? You have a brown one. Yes. Yeah. So we got a, a lighter one and a darker one. The darker one. Dark so the darker one is healthier. Does everyone agree the dark one is healthier? Yeah. Why is the dark one healthier? It looks like it has more moist, like water in it. More water? Yeah. If it holds water, usually it's healthier. But there's other factors to it as well. What what else? More nutrients. What what do the nutrients look like in it? How do you know there's more nutrients in the black one? This one looks like dirt. Which one? The red one looks dead? What is that white stuff called? Mycelium. Okay. So which, which one of these? I bought one of these at the store. The other one comes from the garden plot I'm comparing on campus. Um, which one do you think is store bought? Which one do you think is the garden? This is the, the, one the store. The darker brown. The darker, the, the darker one is what? The the store. Yeah, so I bought, I bought the darker one. And you think the dark one is healthier. So that's right. Um, you guys know what this uh, dark what stuff is? Rock. What do you do with it? Oh, clean out sores? You clean out you clean out sores. So if you get a cutter scrape, you put this on your cutter scrape and what happens to it? It cleans it. What, what, it bubbles, okay? So why is it bubbling when you put it on your skin? Clean out bacteria. bacteria. Yeah, your skin has bacteria, you don't want the bacteria there. So with that being said though, bacteria is usually bad on our skin, but in the soil, bacteria is very important. Okay, so if we're not, I'm telling you not to use chemicals on your farm, but what I'm telling you to use instead is bacteria. So if you have bacteria in your soil, it's gonna be healthier and more sustainable. Now this darker soil is called miracle Grow. I, I bought it at the hardware store. And it's good for potted plants, and it'll last for you know a number of years probably. Um, this other soil I dug up on our campus. Um, we're gonna put some hydrogen peroxide. It's got bacteria in it. So yeah, so we're gonna put peroxide in your soil, and I want you to take a look at what happens to it. Again, remember, bacteria <laughs> is gonna help the soil maintain a healthy state. The bacteria is what feeds the plants the nutrients that it needs. And there's other bugs besides bacteria, the protozoa and a number of other things, but we're going to put this in. So keep an eye when I fill this up and see what happens side by side with your two soils. This is like it was growing. Why is that one smoking? Oh okay, well, it's that soil. got a lot of bacteria. In this one. Oh, they're not on the computer. Yeah. Oh, That's Lord, it's about to run over. So this is good soul. Okay. You want to drink it? Just see what it tastes like. I wonder what kind of bacteria you put in here, sir. <laughs> so, apart from having a microscope, <laughs> this is a pretty good test. I'm just saying that. Who else? We still know bacteria. Is better. Better. Oh, there's more life in it. Okay, did I miss anybody? 
So what do you guys see? The brown one, it's like bubbly. Brown one has more bacteria. So, so what happened to the darker soil? Look. Yeah, that's it. Not much bacteria is lot. How much? Okay. Exactly. So the darker one, most of you probably didn't see much happen with the darker one. And the reason is there's there's really not that much stuff that's alive in it. And the more organisms you have living in the soil, the more natural it is and the more sustainable it is. So you don't have to do anything to this red one because it already has all these bugs in it. And that's a healthy, sustainable, self-sustaining system. What's that? Yeah, yeah, you're not going to see these bugs. I mean, obviously, no earthworms or anything in there. But again, earthworms and other larger bugs, you can actually see those are good as well. Uh, but this is No, I did not add anything to this. Um, but the healthier your soil is, from a sustainable standpoint, you're going to have more and more bacteria. So if, what, what would happen if we had some compost here? And you might have some compost around campus, you could do the same thing. If you have some compost out in your garden, you could put peroxide on it and see what happens. Do you think your compost is going to have more or less bacteria? More. Uh, less. Compost? You think compost? It's going to have more bacteria typically. So, why the heck? Why do you get one? This is part of the bacteria. Um, I don't know how the ins and outs of the uh, <laughs> burning, but what, how does it feel when you put it on it on your skin? Like if you have a cut, I think uh, it burns. Oh, raw side don't burn. burn. I think if you have a cut, it they don't. Yes, they do. Raw side, you don't burn.